Although this is a relatively simple design, and by that I mean we only have two levels of each of our factors, there are still some additional tests we might want to run. Perhaps we're interested in whether, at just Gilman Drive, there's an effect of time of day. That is, do we think that the 8 o'clock mean for Gilman Drive is different from the 9.30 mean? We might also ask the same question for La Jolla Village Drive. Is the 8 o'clock mean different than 9.30 at just La Jolla Village Drive? Notice there are a couple of other tests we could run. At just 8 o'clock, are the two routes different? Or at 9.30, are the two routes different? Or, and these are a little bit more strange tests, at 8 o'clock for Gilman Drive, is this mean different than the mean at 9.30 for La Jolla Village Drive? Or even the opposite situation, is La Jolla Village Drive at 8 o'clock different from Gilman Drive at 9.30? These are the pairwise comparisons, and you might remember that if we look under the red triangle for any of our sources, we're given the options to do least squares means students t-test or least squares means tukis. Now each of these will produce all of those pairwise tests. Each mean in this table or each mean in this plot compared against each other mean. Let's try one of these. I'll turn on the least squares means students t-test, which will return by default the cross tabs report and the connecting letters report. Like I did when I first introduced the fit model output, I'm going to go to the red triangle and turn off the cross tab report, and I'm going to turn on the ordered differences reports. I'll also go back and turn on detailed comparisons, which will return more information for each one of these tests. Let's look at the different tests we're given. I'll use the detailed comparison since it gives us our nice sampling distribution representation. So we have a test here comparing Gilman Drive at 930 with Gilman Drive at 8 a.m. So that's that test at just Gilman Drive, whether there is a time of day effect. We see here we get a non-statistically significant p-value. And if I scroll down and look at the plot here for just Gilman Drive at the time of days, notice that there really is not much of a difference. That is, at just Gilman Drive, there's not much change in the number of seconds it took me to get to campus between going at 8 o'clock and 930 so, it's probably not surprising we haven't rejected the null hypothesis in this case. We haven't found statistically significant evidence that there is a difference between those two times of days at the Gilman Drive route. Now remember, we haven't proven the null. We don't accept the null hypothesis here. We simply have not gathered enough evidence to state that there is a difference. We have failed to reject the null. So really, we can't say too much about that change. Now if we scroll up, you can see we have each of the different pairwise tests, and there's actually a number of them even with our 2x2 two two design. So normally it'll be even faster to look at that ordered differences report, since that will show us in a more consolidated table each of the possible comparisons. Perhaps even quicker is the connecting letters report, which remember will show us each level that we have in our data and a letter connecting them. If two levels don't share a letter, that means they're statistically significantly different from each other. So for instance, La Jolla Village Drive at 8 o'clock is different from all the other means. Notice that no other level has the A letter. So La Jolla Village Drive at 8 o'clock is different from La Jolla Village Drive at 9.30, from Gilman Drive at 9.30, and Gilman Drive at 8 o'clock. La Jolla Village Drive at 9.30 is also different from each of the other levels. Finally, let's look at the two different times of day for Gilman Drive. Notice that they share a letter. They're given the letter C. So this should be an indication to us that these two times of day at Gilman Drive are not statistically significantly different from each other. This we could ascertain also by looking at the ordered differences table. And you can see the same p-value we saw before, that those two times of day at Gilman Drive are not statistically significantly different from each other. Now, we didn't correct for multiple comparisons in this case, but notice what these p-values would tell us. Even if we were to use the more strict Bonferroni correction, and divide our alpha, in this case by 6, we would still surmount our corrected alpha level for each of the different comparisons. So we don't really need to worry about multiple comparison corrections in this case. Our p-values are so low that they would surmount even the more strict Bonferroni correction. However, let's try running the Tukey HSD instead of the student's t-test. So let me go back to the route by time of day source, and I'll turn off the least squares mean student's t, and I'll go back and turn on the least squares means Tukey HSD. Notice again, we're given the cross tabs report and the connecting letters reports. You may notice that our connecting letters report looks identical to what it did for the least squares students T. In fact, nothing has changed. 
even with the 2QHSD correction, correcting for all possible comparisons we can run, we still would come to the same conclusions about which means were different from which other means.